Hey people, um, I just realized that after I had recorded the tutorial the other day that I accidentally left a tiny little bit out. Uh, it's basically only a few harmonics, but I thought I do them, so so we should uh, we should look at them. And it's basically in the in the section where um, uh, Tim and Scott plays different parts. Uh, it's the bit that starts with. Uh, <laughs> So basically, it, it's right before the repetition of the of the main main riff. So second time um, you have on the off beat. The harmonics are on the uh, off beat. So it's basically only these harmonics. etc. Uh, I think Scott plays um, he plays a harmony over that. He plays I think if you if we take it from the same spot from he would play again. since we're on the harmonics, I, I realized that I'm playing actually a wrong note uh, in the, um, well, in the beginning as well as during the basal, it's the same sort of harmonics over and over. So basically it's these. I played um, a, uh, a, an F sharp there, should be a, uh, a G, so you have or I know I, I was looking at some video uh, where Tim's playing and he plays it an octave down so he plays sorry Basically, uh, all except the, the B and the F sharp are harmo uh, harmonics. I mean, you could play that open, I suppose. Um, but I don't know. Either way, the the F sharp works very well uh, over it. Uh, but now that I noticed it, uh, <laughs> we we may as well do it the right way. Um, I was also thinking about, uh, oh, this is section towards the end. Uh, that bit, I think the, in the original, and it might actually be easier, is, it's like, um, <clears throat> you have your, uh, your B on the sixth string, open B, slide up. I think uh, Tim plays uh, the top B, up, up, or the top, uh, yeah, the top B, sorry. I've played it an octave down, and it, you know, it really doesn't matter, but I don't know, I quite like it up here now, actually. So that could be um, uh, another thing that you might want to do instead of, <laughs> instead of what I'm doing. Um, also, I've got an, uh, a ton of messages um, uh, asking about um, like the stretching 
and many uh, many other things. But there, there's a bit. There's a, and people ask, how can how can I stretch that far? And it's you know it's it's just practice. Um, there are a number of of uh, exercises that you can do that that will definitely improve uh, the stretching. There's one I'm thinking when one I force all my students to do it, that some of you may have done uh, one that that's called the spider and you'll understand why because this is how it looks um, and it's basically a coordination as well as stretching exercise so I'll just briefly go through it so let's do it here in the fifth position so there are four different sort of uh, figures. So you have the first one, second, third, fourth. This is not meant to sound good, by the way. <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that. So the important thing is that when you when you practice it, that you think uh, that they're sort of they're working in pairs, the fingers. So. Once you play the first two, put the second pair on and then lift off the previous two. Same with the next one, lift off. Same with the fourth one. And then you just keep working your way up. So you, all, the, you always start with the, the, the first ring is always uh, played. It's stretching pretty good, especially here. Sorry, they can work your work your way down as well. Etc. Um, so that yeah, that might be a good thing to practice. It's it's really good for coordination as well, and you'll be able to stretch. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, and like I told you last time as well, if there's anything, just, um, just inbox me and I'm sure we'll be able to, to work it out. Good luck. <laughs>